Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And uh, to answer a couple of questions I had this week about finding information about frequencies of utility stations that you hear and that you wonder what they could be, what do I do? So, of course, there's the general lists of utility stations. So one of the first things you should always check out is, of course, I've you know shared a lot of pages over time of frequencies for you know civil air patrol or for um, you know if it's aeronautical frequencies you have all of that online uh, detailed lists if it's maritime or any type of utility uh, frequency that is a quite a standard is usually in some lists somewhere uh, US military Mars nets stuff like that but of course there's the I don't know what that is and I don't see it in the list and it might be in the list but you might have missed it and you don't you know you can't find it what do I do how do I find out or try to find out at least what could be on a frequency well what I will do usually is use Google uh, Google is pretty surprising at finding the information you might or be searching for for example Let's say that 6604, I hear a weather broadcast, and I don't know what it is. Well, of course, I do know what it is, but for the purpose of searching here, what I will do usually when I don't know what something is, I will just type the frequency. Then I will type kilohertz, so 6604 kilohertz, USB for upper sideband. And if I have some details, I will enter that detail so for example weather then enter and here you will see for example there's some um, videos gander radio vomit uh, this is actually a video from my channel all three of them are from my channel actually but also you can go down and then you'll have a vomit uh, vomit is a radio refer reference uh, wiki and you can actually check it out and here it's going to give you you know weather reports and stuff and what station it could be and here you have 6604 for example in this list it says new york gander now new york doesn't uh, exist anymore but 6604 is a frequency for gander newfoundland canada aeronautical weather so you know it gives you an idea you can actually try to find the information you're looking for by googling the frequency but always give all the details give the frequency always put kilohertz because you know 6604 is doesn't mean anything 6604 kilohertz you're already pinning down it's a frequency then USB you're telling it what mode it's broadcasting on that frequency and if you have details you can put the details you have whether if you don't um, you know try to just start with 6604 kilohertz USB uh, sometimes I'll put HF or shortwave next to it to kind of pin down that we're in the realm of listening to radio on shortwave see what happens and what actually it, it it finds for you one of the things also that I will sometimes do is try to guess so I'll listen in and if I don't know well I'll you know I'll type us uh, the frequency the with kilohertz and and the mode and then I'll type, um, you know, uh, military or I'll type uh, uh, civil air patrol or I'll type, um, you know, Mars net or, you know, I'll try the different things that I know that could be there. I'll type maritime, aeronautical and so on. Yesterday, for example, I had one that I don't really know what it was, but I tried to find some information. Really, not a lot was coming through. It was probably some kind of maybe it could be a you know civil air patrol net or a Mars net, but I couldn't find really a lot of details. It happens sometimes. I'll have a hard time finding details of what you're listening to, but I would tell you that the um, amount of of searches that actually give you a reward by actually pinning down what you're listening to is pretty high. So remember, frequency. Always add kilohertz. Always had the mode. If you don't have any details, just type HF or shortwave. Try to see what it finds. And if it doesn't find anything, like I say, just add what you might think it could be and, and see what pops up. 
And uh, you'll be surprised. Very often, you actually find a page uh, with the information you're looking for. And also, one of the interesting aspects of this is often it brings you to pages that actually give you lists of other frequencies. And that gives you an even more interesting aspect because now you know a little more details of maybe other stations of the same type that you just received. And uh, it's always fun to uh, check it out. So that's one of the best ways, I think, to really find out what you could be listening to when you have no idea. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.